Monsieur le Président, ladies and gentlemen, let me turn to the second great challenge of our time, migration. My country is at the forefront of the global migration crisis. Greece has, over the last decade, provided shelter and protection to hundreds of thousands of refugees and asylum seekers. Our Coast Guard has gone above and beyond to save tens of thousands of lives at sea. And let me be clear, Greece will always be an open and welcoming country for those fleeing persecution and violence, as well as those economic migrants who, however, seek a new future by accessing legal pathways. After all, our economy is growing again. We're attracting significant foreign investment, and there are many job opportunities in my country. But we also need to fill these vacancies on our own terms, not those set by the criminal gangs. And that is why it is critical that the international community works together to establish a far more comprehensive and coordinated approach, one that addresses the root causes of migration, one that more effectively counters human trafficking and migrant smuggling, and fosters legal pathways to mobility. Take managing the root causes of migration. We must challenge the negative political, socioeconomic, and climate trends at source in the countries of origin, but also the countries of transit. And that means more tailor-made, innovative, multi-stakeholder partnerships to drive uh, forward sustainable development and strengthen resilience, creating jobs and opportunities in the places of origin. No one, no one wants to leave their homes and risk their lives finding work thousands of miles away. In real terms, that's about investing in infrastructure, in education, in healthcare, in the green and digital transition, all of which can reduce poverty, unemployment, and inequality. And it's about creating incentives for private sector development. It's about supporting entrepreneurship and small businesses while always promoting good governance and women's empowerment. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to migration, Greece's policy is tough but fair. We are focused on preventing irregular migration and improving the effectiveness of return systems. But we're also focused on facilitating safe, orderly, and legal migration while processing asylum claims expeditiously. This issue is not going to go away. Indeed, in recent weeks, there is evidence across the Mediterranean that the pressure on our borders is unfortunately growing again. That is why preventing departures must be the starting point. We must break the business model of the traffickers and the networks if we are to stop people from embarking on such dangerous journeys. And working together bilaterally and multilaterally, we must strengthen border controls and surveillance, mechanisms to detect and intercept strugglers and their activities. And we can do that through the use of advanced technology, intelligence sharing, and cooperation among border control agencies. And we must enhance the capacity of law enforcement to investigate and prosecute those responsible for profiting from human despair, as well as disrupting the money networks through the strengthening of tools to identify and freeze traffickers' assets. And we need a whole-of-root approach, raising public awareness of the dangers posed by smuggling routes. At the same time, as I said, we must provide legal pathways through family reunification, humanitarian visas, but also labor mobility, something that Greece has done with new bilateral agreements with countries such as Egypt and Bangladesh. But above all, if we want to solve the problem in the Mediterranean, we must work together with our partner countries, Turkey, of course, but also our North African neighbors. Ladies and gentlemen,